news now. For more than a week, people who are homeless and their supporters have been camping out in front of City Hall in Portland demanding change. News Center Maine's Sean Stackhouse spent some time to see what it's actually like there. Good morning, Sean. Sharon, good morning. Well, to really find out what life is like right now for the people spending their days and nights protesting outside of Portland City Hall, I spent a night here with them. Now, I witnessed some tense arguments, heavy police patrolling, and even fireworks at one point. But I also had conversations with the people here to find out their stories and why this protest is so important to them. I am one of the affected. I currently live in a tent. I have no home. Right now, this is the life of 25-year-old Aaron Porter. He's been battling homelessness since he was a teenager. I have been turned away from multiple jobs for just having a backpack. Now, with two kids and his fiance living at a Portland shelter, demanding fair treatment and assistance from the city of Portland is of the utmost importance. When I spoke with Porter, he had been awake for two straight days, working to keep the people in this camp safe. I will not stop. I will not rest until I know that me and my family are safe. But this protest isn't just filled with people experiencing homelessness. Many who want to help and know what they're going through are here daily, like Emily Davis. I believe everyone deserves basic human rights and their needs met and they're, they're not doing that. I couldn't, I couldn't imagine living not knowing where you're going to sleep, where you're going to eat can't even use the bathroom, take a shower. But that was a life she once lived, moving to Portland as a pregnant 18 year old with no home. Now she sees the problem from a different perspective and is trying to bring change. I know I'm not stopping supporting it until it's fixed, until they at least get basic human rights. Do I think I can take on a city council and fight for my rights? Yes. Now, here are some of the things that protesters are demanding to decriminalize camping out in the city, defund the police and reallocate money for essential services, establish overdose prevention sites, create plans for permanent affordable housing that are led by impacted people and to extend the eviction freeze. Now, there is no clear end to this protest in sight. Protesters I spoke with say they're prepared to stay as long as it takes until their demands are met by Portland city leaders. Live in Portland this morning, Sean Stackhouse, New Center, Maine. Sharon, back to you. All right, thank you, Sean.